Chapter 4. Enter the Peak. Jesper's brothers and sisters soon abandoned the thankless task of trying to educate him in the ways of being a mouse. And so Despero was free. He spent his days as he wanted. He wandered through the rooms of the castle, staring dreamily at the light streaming in through the stained glass windows. He went to the library and read over and over again the story of the fair maiden and the knight who rescued her. And he discovered finally the source of the honey-sweet sound. The sound was music. The sound was King Philip playing his guitar and singing to his daughter, the Princess P, every night before she fell asleep. Hidden in a hole in the wall of the princess's bedroom, the mouse listened with all his heart. The sound of the king's music made Despero's soul grow large and light inside of him. Oh, he said, it sounds like heaven. It smells like honey. He stuck his left ear out of the hole in the wall so that he could hear the music better, and then he stuck his right ear out so that he could hear better still. And it wasn't too long before one of his paws followed his head, and then another paw, and then, without any real planning on Despero's part, the whole of him was on display, all in an effort to get closer to the music. Now, while Despero did not indulge in many of the normal behaviors of mice, he did adhere to one of the most basic and elemental of all mice rules. Do not ever, under any circumstances, reveal yourself to humans. But the music, the music. The music made him lose his head and act against the few small mouse instincts he was in possession of. And because of this, he revealed himself. And in no time at all, he was spied by the sharp-eyed Princess P. Oh, Papa, she said. Look, a mouse. The king stopped singing. He squinted. The king was nearsighted. That is, anything that was not right in front of his eyes was very difficult for him to see. Where? said the king. There, said the princess P. She pointed. That, my dear P, is a bug, not a mouse. It is much too small to be a mouse. No, no, it's a mouse. A bug, said the king, who liked to be right. A mouse, said the P, who knew that she was right. As for Despero, he was beginning to realize that he had made a very grave error. He trembled, he shook, he sneezed, he considered fainting. He's frightened, said the pea. Look, he's so afraid, he's shaking. I think he was listening to the music. Play something, Papa. A king play music for a bug? King Philip wrinkled his forehead. Is that proper, do you think? Wouldn't that make this into some kind of topsy-turvy, wrong-headed world if a king played music for a bug? Papa, I told you he's a mouse, said the pea. Please? Oh, well, if it will make you happy, I, the king, will play music for a bug. A mouse, corrected the pea. The king adjusted his heavy gold crown. He cleared his throat. He strummed the guitar and started to sing a song about stardust. The song was as sweet as light shining through stained glass windows, as captivating as the story in a book. Despero forgot all his fear. He only wanted to hear the music. He crept closer and then closer still, until, reader, he was sitting right at the foot of the king.